Peggy 7. Hi there, my name is Gavin Moore. I'm the creative director of Japan Studios and I'm the crazy mind behind Puppeteer. Puppeteer is um, basically it's a platform game, but it's set inside a magical theatre. So instead of moving through the world like you do in an ordinary game, all the world changes and moves around you. So all the sets are changing and revolving and turning. So you never know what's coming next and you always want to keep playing. The demo takes place right at the beginning of the game. So it's going to show you how our hapless hero gets into the situation that he gets into. And then it's basically one curtain of the first act. So it's quite a long demo. It'll probably be uh, about 15 minutes long. Basically, you'll start off with uh, two heads in the game that you'll get. One will be a skull and one will be a spider. And, uh, and then you'll end up with a hamburger head as well. And then I'm not going to tell you about the others, you have to find them. So you have curtains and a, and a stage always on the screen. So in 3D you have this you know, focal point that exists all the time. So we throw characters in and out over this you know, focal point. So in 3D it looks amazing and it really pops when you watch it in 3D. Our protagonist is called Kutaro and he's basically a boy um, who's stolen away to the moon by the evil king and his soul is shoved in the body of a puppet. He angers the evil moon bear king who rips off his head and eats it, throws him away, discards him. And the evil king thinks, oh, okay, that's it, he's gone. But he's not dead, he doesn't die. And then with the help of a hapless kind of sarcastic cat, he uh, finds that he can use different objects as heads. Now there are a hundred heads to collect in the game. They're hidden all over the world. And they're your life. So if you get hit, your head will fall off and it will roll around on the ground. And then you have three seconds to pick it back up. And if you don't, it disappears. So that's the food rule. That's when I was a kid and you drop your toast, it's like that. Then each of those heads has a special power. So somewhere in the game you can use those heads. And they can unlock bonus stages, they can help you defeat a boss, and there are lots and lots of crazy situations that those heads can get you into. Yin Yang basically uh, has only one life left of his nine lives. So he just doesn't want to do anything. As far as he's concerned, he just wants to stay next to the fire in the black castle in the kitchen and, and not help anyone. But the witch forces Yin Yang to help uh, you, the hero, steal Calibrus. And he's incredibly sarcastic and incredibly lazy. But the great thing about Yin Yang is you can control him as well on the right stick. So you can move him around and you can hunt around the world and find different things. So it, it's kind of a really cool mechanic where you're playing on both sticks but you're playing two characters at the same time. The Yin Yang also uh, can be used as the, you know, the second player's actual character. And when you use Yin Yang um, in two player mode, he has a lot more abilities. So he can actually stop attacks from bosses, for instance, or he can get rid of objects that are going to hurt you, or he can pull heads off little enemies and give you new lives, or he can carry around heads to have a new life always there to help you. Or alternatively, he can pull off your head and throw it away if he wants to. And that second, uh, that second player can either use a dual shot, but we also have the move. So if you have a move controller, it's really easy to use with the, with the second character. Every hero needs a weapon. So instead of giving our character a sword, we gave him a pair of scissors. And the reason we did this was it wasn't just a weapon, it's a means to move. So obviously you can fight giant tigers and cut up their legs and cut out their teeth and their claws and everything. But it's a means to move in our game. We, that's what makes puppeteers special are the scissors. So instead of jumping to get to places, you have to cut up smoke. And as long as you keep cutting, you keep flying so you can get to strange and mysterious places. I think uh, in, in the demo you have to listen very carefully to what people are telling you. Um, Yin Yang's mistress is, is a cranky old witch who's working as a cook in the, in the kitchen. She's not any, a very good cook at all. Um, and she's trying to use you, but is she telling the truth or not is, is an interesting point that I would look out for.